Arab Flags The Arab League formed in 1945 is an organization with 22 member states. Out of these 22 Arab nations, 9 of them share a reasonably similar flag using the pan-Arab colors, black, white, red, and green. The 9 countries that use them are Egypt, the UAE, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Palestine, Syria, Yemen, and Sudan. Arguably, South Sudan and Libya also use them, and in fact, these colors are common among almost all the Arab nations. In addition, El Sahrawi and Somaliland, both unrecognized states, also use them. But these nine countries have almost equal flags, all using the pan-Arab colors, so why? In this video, I want to do two things. First, understand why these colors are used, what they mean and where they come from, and second, go through each of these nine countries that use them and learn when and why they began to do so. Like I mentioned just now, the black, white, red and green colors are known as the pan-Arab colors, in similarity to, for instance, the pan-Slavic colors of red, white and blue. I can also make a video on the huge amount of flags that use them if you want, but back to the Arab ones. Individually and upon its creation, each of the four pan-Arab colors were intended to represent a certain aspect of the Arabs and their history. The black represents the black standard used by the Rashidun and the Abbasid Caliphates, while white was the dynastic color of the Umayyad and Fatimid Caliphates. Green is a color associated with the primary religion of Islam and also a color representative of the Rashidun Caliphate as well. Finally, Red was the Hashemit dynastic color. It is said that the four colors also derived their potency from a verse by 14th century Arab poet Safi al-Din al-Ili. White are our acts, black our battles, green our fields, and red our swords. Whether or not these historical references were the effective cause for the choice of the colors, they inarguably represent them today. These pan-Arab colors, used individually in the past, were first combined in 1916 in the flag of the Arab Revolt, also known as the flag of Ejaz. This flag was a horizontal tricolor of black, green, and white with a red triangle on the left side. The Arab Revolt was a military uprising of Arab forces against the Ottoman Empire that at the time ruled their lands. It is considered a part of the Middle Eastern theater of World War I and it effectively sided with the Entente against the Central Powers which the Ottomans were a part of. The aim of the revolt was to create a single, unified and independent Arab state stretching from Aleppo in Syria to Aden in Yemen which the British had promised to recognize. In fact, it is said that the revolt's flag itself was designed by British diplomat Sir Mark Sykes. Little did the Arab revolters know that after the war, their territory would not at all be given to them along with independence, but in fact placed under the control of the British and French who were then their allies. A small area did in fact enjoy some independence, where Saudi Arabia now is, initially established as the Kingdom of Ejaz. So now that we understand where the colors come from and how they were first joined into a single flag, let's find out how each of the countries that uses them today came to use them. Despite the fact that the whole of the Middle East didn't get their desired independence after revolting against the Ottomans in 1916, it would soon come. In the 1950s, a subset of the pan-Arab colors, the Arab liberation colors, came to prominence. These consist of a tricolor of red, white, and black. The green was given less prominence initially, but then remained included in many flags, if only in the central symbol. This Arab liberation flag was mainly inspired by the Egyptian revolution of 1952. And it is precisely in Egypt that we begin checking the origin of each of these flags. The previous flag of Egypt under British influence was this one, used from 1922 to 1952, all green with a white crescent and stars. This revolution was initially against King Farouk of Egypt, but it had further ambition. They wanted to abolish the monarchy and aristocratic system, establishing a republic, but most of all end British occupation and influence. Succeeding, the revolutionary government adopted a nationalist and 
anti-imperialist agenda which was expressed through Arab nationalism and international non-alignment. This new and modern version of the Arab revolt flag served as a reference for other Middle Eastern Arab nations seeking independence. The same horizontal tricolor was used by Iraq, Syria, Sudan, and Yemen, with the only difference being the national emblems in the white band. In Iraq's case, the central emblem is the phrase God is the greatest in Arabic using the green color. The current flag is inspired in Egypt's 1952 one, but Iraq's first ever flag as a nation was inspired in the early 1916 flag, switching only the white with the green and adding two stars on the red, the flag of mandatory Iraq, a result of a local revolt against the British mandate of Mesopotamia, used locally during British influence until 1958. In 1958, in response to the merger of Egypt and Syria in the United Arab Republic, which by the way also had this flag, the two Ashamite kingdoms of Iraq and Jordan established the Arab Federation, now also being independent from the British, a confederation of the two states whose flag was identical to the one that Palestine uses today. They temporarily used a different flag, although with the same colors, from 1959 to 1963, including a Kurdish sun in the center in representation of this community. Unity. They returned to the current format in 1963 and have used it since with changes in the central emblem. Speaking of Syria, its first modern flag was implemented in 1919 with the original revolt flag as reference. Under French occupation, they initially used this weird one that had nothing to do with the territory, then moving on to this one, green, white and black with red stars. In 1958, as I just mentioned, they joined up with Egypt to create the United Arab Republic using this one, which eventually evolved from two to three stars. Then they used this flag for the Federation of Arab Republics, which also included Libya, and then went back to the two-star version. Even the flag of the Syrian opposition today uses the same colors and is in fact identical to the flag of the Second Syrian Republic from 1950. Jordan's flag is perhaps one of the most directly connected to the original Arab revolt. Its first flag is listed as being this one, the flag of the Occupied Enemy Territory Administration, an entity created by the Entente and the Arab revolt to manage liberated Ottoman territories during the war. They then used this flag for four months as they belonged to the Arab Kingdom of Syria, a short-lived state that was then occupied by the French and the British. The then British protectorate of the Emirate of Transjordan used this similar flag, which ended up being the one chosen for the modern Kingdom of Jordan. The flag of nearby Palestine is very similar, only the red triangle is slightly different without the white star within it, and almost equal to the original 1916 Arab Revolt flag, only switching the green and the white. The flag of Western Sahara, the self-proclaimed El Sahrawi Republic, is equal, only adding a red crescent and star in the center of the white. Kuwait is a slightly different case, for instance, the Sheikhdom of Kuwait existed from 1752 to 1961 and they used this flag from 1871 onwards, a red field with writing in white. Their history as a territory and nation is slightly different from the rest of the Middle East, being more connected with the rest of Asia and even India to some extent. From 1746 to 1871, they used the Sulaimi flag. Then they were ruled by the Ottomans using the Ottoman flag, which was actually kept once the country became a British protectorate in 1899. In 1903, Lord Curzon, the British Viceroy and Governor General of India, visited Kuwait, and Sheikh Mubarak al Sabah raised a red flag with white words meaning we trust in God in Arabic. I believe this is the Sheikhdom flag, there weren't really great sources on this. Different versions of this and the Ottoman flag kept being used until 1961 when the pan-Arab colors were finally implemented, with its format and color distribution being chosen as a variation to distinguish it from other nations. Libya's first flag was that of the Ottoman protectorate of Tripolitana, an all-green flag with three white crescents used between 1864 and 1911. After this, Italian, French, and British occupation followed, until the Cyrenaica Emirate was created, lasting from 1949 to 1951, and using this all-black flag with a white crescent and star. In 1951, the Kingdom of Libya was created, using the current Libyan flag until 1969, a coup led to a change in regime, and the new flag of the Arab Republic was based on that of Egypt, even joining the country in that Arab Islamic Republic we saw existed in 1972. From 77 to 2011, they used a plain green flag, then going back to the flag of the kingdom with another regime change. 
The UAE flag is, again, and in similarity to Kuwait, a variation of the Pan-Arab flag being adopted in 1971. The UAE is precisely a union of Arab Emirates, each of which had their own flags prior to the union. The Emirate of Ra's al Khaimah, for instance, had this white and red flag. Dubai used the same colors, as did Ayman, Umm al Quwain, and Abu Dhabi. From 1820 to 1971, these tribes were somewhat organized into a group of tribal confederations called the Trucial States, and they used this different flag. And finally, Yemen, which used a red and white flag similarly to its neighbor Oman and many other Arab nations in the area. The current flag was adopted on the day that North Yemen and South Yemen were unified, both of which used very similar flags, although the Souths contain blue instead of green, similarly to South Sudan. The flag is essentially the Egyptian flag of 1952. The Arab world's countries use various other flags other than this list of those that are directly influenced by the 1916 or the 1952 Arab revolt flags. In this map we can see it, and while they are not directly influenced, most of them still use the red, white and green colors, along with the star and crescent elements in representation of Islam, with very few exceptions that don't. So. That is why almost all Arab flags are so similar, understanding their common origin, the pan-Arab colors, learning where those colors come from, the historical Arab and Muslim caliphates and emirates, and what they represent. Figuring out the first time they were combined in 1916, and the historical context around the usage of that flag, the Arab revolt against the Ottomans, the recovery of those colors in 1952 for another Arab revolt, first in Egypt, against the British, and how both of those revolutionary flags were used as reference and inspiration for many of these Arab flags today, therefore being the reason why they are so similar. I mentioned that a similar situation exists with the pan-Slavic colors and flags, let me know if you'd like to see a video on that, or any other groups of similar flags throughout the world. Thanks so much for watching this video, subscribe if you want, and leave a comment below with your opinions and thoughts on this. I will see you next time for more general knowledge.